Basically, I'm Ed Hammond. I'm the technical engineer here at Entech Sound, which I've been with for about 18 months now. Um, we do a lot of touring stuff, um, mainly touring, one-offs at, uh, say, Wembley Arena, Hammersmith. We do a lot of shows down there. And uh, we do the odd corporate show every now and again as well. We looked after Blur this summer. Um, we did the Gorillas. Um, Skunk and Ants is out at the moment. We've got Bootleg Beatles Christmas tour coming up, and uh, we've done about three or four massive Taiwanese bands lately at Wembley Arena, which is quite different from from usual. Probably started using Lake Processing about seven or eight years ago with the original Contours. You know, first experience with them was was excellent. They were brilliant. Then, of course, the DLP came in, and that kind of changed the game in terms of drive rack systems and crossovers as well. You know, basically the graphic interface of the Lake products from the beginning has been what people want at front of house. So that kind of drives what we put into our drive racks, which is LM44s now. We use the AES in and out, so we keep it digital, keep the audio digital as much as possible. Um, Dante is something we are going to look at going to in the future for our full return system. So this is basically the start of where we're going to use Lake. We're always looking to invest further in the, the Dolby Lake technology. Um, when we found out that was getting phased out, we were very interested to see what product was going to replace it. And um, obviously the LM44s came in for a demo and we realized you can stack them in a rack and two of them equals a Dolby Lake 8x8 Mesa, and you can go further than that. Um, they can all pick up each other's Dante inputs. Um, so that's when we realized it was probably right for us because we can scale it to the job. We can have as many as we like at front of house at the stage end, use them as Dante breakouts if we need to do long signal runs. And you know, when, once we realized it was of the same quality as the original Dolby Lake processor. I think it was we were sold on going down the route of an LM44.